Hey everybody, um, I'm going to go over how to install Berry Boot and a couple other applications that you can use on a Raspberry Pi. And for this I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B+, although this will apply to 3B, Pi 2, um, pretty much anything else, but the instructions might differ a little bit on anything lower than a Pi 2. Um, so first we're going to use um, Berry Boot and you can just Google Berry Boot and I'll take you to berryterminal.com and what you want to download. In our case, we're gonna use the Pi 2 and Pi 3 Plus um, right here. And you just wanna download this. And then we're gonna be using a eight gig micro SD card for this, but you can use anything up to a 32 gig without special formatting. So um, I wouldn't use larger than a 32 gig. That should be plenty for everything that you need to do. Um, I just had this 8 gig laying around, so that's what we're using. Um, and we have it inserted in our computer here, and we're going to format it. So we want to hit format. And you just want to do FAT32 default allocation size. You don't need to label it or anything. And just hit start. And while that's uh, doing it there, we will find our very boot zip, open that up, open up your USB drive and you just want to click and, sorry about that, you wanna, hello, okay, I don't know why it's doing that, I'll just control A, you want to drag all of this into USB and it should take, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds to copy or something like that. Okay, 10 seconds. And that's it. And uh, now we're gonna move over to a video capture of my Raspberry Pi. Um, so just go ahead and eject this. And then put it in your Raspberry Pi and turn it on. Make sure you have a display hooked up to your Raspberry Pi. I don't think I mentioned this before, but Berry Boot's a really nice application that lets you move, like, it lets you boot and load multiple applications on the Raspberry Pi. Um, so it's super handy and honestly there's not a whole lot of reasons why you shouldn't use it over just installing a um, like you know just installing I don't know Plex media player uh, on the Pi directly um, because we can do all of those things within Berry Boot so uh, let's see you see green borders, yes. We'll do wired for now. Audio is gonna be through HDMI. Um, we'll just pick that. Uh, American New York, yeah. And we can test our keyboard. Just using a Logitech all-in-one touchpad slash keyboard, so. Okay, so we can do network storage or our local storage. We want to do our local. You can encrypt it if you want. I don't think it's necessary. And we'll just do the default ext4 and hit format. And now you have this option where you can download uh, popular popular operating systems um, directly to your micro SD card. Um, and I will also show you how to load um, operating systems via USB because most of the ones we're going to want are going to be through USB. Um, but if you go to others, um, this should show all of the ones that are available from whatever repository they're using. Um, so let's do Raspberry and Lite. It should be relatively quick. So after you install every operating system, it's going to make you reboot, uh, at least through the web. Um, I don't think you need to reboot if you load them through USB, but honestly, it's not a huge deal. So it will automatically boot into one that's um, like the default one if you don't touch anything. So I just pressed a button on the keyboard and it stopped it from auto booting. So if you hit edit menu, um, you can go back into the add OS screen 
and that'll bring you here. Um, and we do want to do some others. So what we're going to do, we'll do XBMC. This is uh, open ELEC. I don't know if there's a better version available, but we can just test this one out. Um, so we'll do this one as well. I guess you don't have to do it after every single one. You don't have to restart. Some of these are pretty large, especially if they have a GUI. So like you can see the Ubuntu Mate desktop is 1.4 gig. Um, Raspbian Stretch desktop is that, that large as well. Uh, we've got RetroPie if you want to run some emulation. Oh, Kali Linux is pretty cool. So yeah, um, those are the only two I wanted to do for, uh, or I guess through the um, through the little web console here, and then um, you can once you install things, you can rename them if you want. Just if you don't want the version number, or if you want to name it XBMC, just so you can remember what it is, um, and then you can also set default. So when it boots up, it'll give you about 10 seconds to pick one, or it'll just boot to the default option. So that's all for this section of the video. Um, in the next part after the cut, I'm going to add a couple through USB and show you how to do that. That's super, super simple. So uh, I will see you after the cut. So we want to add more um, Berry Boot images to our uh, Berry Boot install. And the best way to do that is to search Berry Boot image on Google and um, there's a guide by Alex Goldscheidt, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but I'm just going to call him Alex. Um, and you can follow this entire guide, and also on this website, um, you can download OS images. I believe there are some premium images that you do need to pay for, but um, most of them you don't. So just take that for what you will. Um, you can follow anything on here. Or, I mean, not anything. You can follow this guide to uh, to do this. But what I'm going to do is go back and go to his images section. And on the images section, you will find the most popular, uh, you know, the latest ones or the most popular ones. And really, you can just search for whatever you want. Um, and there's categories down here. Or there's Arch Linux, CentOS, Debian. Um, and we're going to go to multimedia. And we're going to look for Rasplex. So here we have Rasplex for Pi 1 and 0, which is not what we need. We need Pi 2 and Pi 3. And so we just hit download for Berry Boot. And unfortunately, it uses this whatever website that is, but we'll just download that. And while that's going, we'll do Plex Media Player for Pi 2 and 3. This is a USB drive that's just formatted. Um, it's just formatted FAT32, and then what we'll do is we'll extract these into just the image files and put them on the uh, USB drive. So I think I have some old versions of things on here, but I can I should be able to get rid of these, delete these. So Rasplex and Plex Media Player, and let's see. Um, you can use Cano OS, which is cool. Uh, the Cano kits are like super, super awesome if you're trying to teach someone young how to code or someone just who has never no experience in coding, um, how how coding works. Um, so you can run Cano OS and and not like have to create a pie just for that. You can boot whatever you want, basically. Um, so I think, let's see, networking. I don't know if I'm gonna play around with anything on here. I only have an eight gig card, but let's see, these are done. So go ahead and open this. And now 
there's dot tars within these zips so we're gonna have to open this again and then this is what you want to drag into your USB drive the dot image so we'll drag that over we'll do the same thing with Plex Media Player while that's running in the background here So now that this is done, um, I'm just going to de demonstrate how to install these two because this is probably what most of you are going to use. If you want to do um, RetroPie or anything like that, I'll leave that up to you. It's very, very easy to use. So it's going to be the same sort of process for Barry Boot at least. So we're just going to pull this USB drive and then put it into our Raspberry Pi. So once you're on your Raspberry Pi, you want to hit the Add OS button, and I believe if you just, yeah, if you click and hold on the Add OS button, this, this menu will pop up, and you want to do Copy OS from USB Stick. And if you've done it correctly, these will show up automatically, um, but you might need to navigate through the directory over here to find your USB Stick, but um, I didn't have to, so we're going to do Rasplex first. And it'll just copy over. All right. And then uh, Plex Media Player. that's it and just to show you that they work um, when you exit here it should restart so it's trying to boot into open elec but we'll do uh, do we'll do Plex Media Player because there's not as much to config on that so the one thing with Plex Media Player is that with the Berry Boot image, you can't use Wi-Fi. And I don't know if that's the case with the default Plex Media Player image. Um, but I I don't know. So just keep that in mind. I don't have a problem using Wi-Fi with Razplex. And I think Razplex is actually better than the Plex Media Player image. Uh, anyway, so um, we can do it. Oh, jeez. Let me do this on the other side, on the other computer here. And so it'll just boot here. There we go. And we're at the server. So this is Plex Media Player. And you can play anything you want here. Um, I'm just going to mute the audio of my... I'm going to mute the audio of the Pi so I don't get copyrighted here. I'm just going to play five seconds of this just to show you it works okay it doesn't work <laughs> of course there we go so it works to totally fine um, I don't know what the problem is with that other uh, that other file, but must have been a bad rip on my part. So anyway, um, that's how you do Berry Boot, and Berry Boot's super awesome. Oh, I guess there's one last thing to show you. So if you want to if you want to reboot into a different image, you would just hit reboot, 
and the berry boot menu will come up again. Um, but yeah, so long. The short of it is, use berry boot. It's super awesome. You can use it for anything you want, really, uh, on a pie. You know, within you know realist, realistic boundaries, I guess. Um, and then it gives you a lot more freedom to play around with things and mess around with different images and stuff. And if you mess up an image, you don't have to reinstall everything. You can just delete the image or add a new one. Um, you can add the same image multiple times if you want. So you can you can play around with something or some settings. Um, but yeah, here we are in Rasplex and the setup and all that. So anyway, that's where I'm going to end this one. It's been long enough uh, as it is. And I'll do separate videos on um, configuring... Uh, Configuring, configuring Plex Media Player, Razplex, um, we're going to do uh, Pi Hole Setup and some like Ubuntu desktop stuff and uh, maybe a little bit of Ubuntu server on the, the Raspberry Pi. Um, but if you have any other ideas for content for, uh, I guess, in regards to the Raspberry Pi, let me know. Um, I do have a mobile server setup uh, coming and it's kind of in the works, so we're going to be doing a couple things with the Pi, but... Um, yeah, so that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, thank you to all of my patrons. It's been one year, and uh, yeah, things are going great. So we'll see you guys next time.